have quite a few exciting things going on at Teradata, and quite often we always talk about the great releases of the Teradata database, which we just released Teradata 13. We're pretty excited about that. Or our platform family, which has been very successful. But today I'd like to talk a little bit about what we bring from a business perspective. Because having great technology is great, but without applying it to business problems is just great technology. So what I'd like to talk about today is what we call integrated web intelligence. And that's the ability to bring web data into your data warehouse to get a much broader breadth of intelligence and knowledge about your customer activity and some of their buying behaviors and patterns and decisions that you can make differently now that the web data is integrated into the data warehouse, where typically it's separated out into a web environment around the uh, web analytics. Customers have been doing web analytics in the past and really what's different and what we're trying to talk about in this integrated web intelligence is many businesses have kind of isolated their web business and, and part of their web uh, environment. And so a lot of the analytics is going out to the website and uh, analyzing the web traffic, which is very important. But without tying it into the overall enterprise data, you're only getting one view of the channel of your interaction with customers. And I'll give you an example, a retailer out there that we worked with had their whole web channel that they were doing analytics on and trying to determine customer behavior, who their best customers were. And uh, after we actually integrated it into the EDW, we found an interesting thing. In the web business, in the web marketing champion, they actually had tagged their customers as their best customers. And what we found out that in a lot of the top 10% of their best customers, were buying a lot of merchandise on the website, unknown to them, they were going to the store and returning 90% of it. So a lot of ladies were going out and buying multiple shoes or dresses, taking them home, trying them on, find out which one looked best on them, and then returning through another channel, the store. So where they were now promoting to their best customers who were buying a lot of merchandise, in fact, they were an average customer and they shouldn't have been having the promotions that they had because they were returning the merchandise in the store. So that's really about this integrated web analytics, being able to take the web behavioral data, the purchasing, et cetera, and integrating it into your overall enterprise data warehouse with all your other channels so you truly have a better idea of what your customers are purchasing and who your most valuable customers are. What the customers are doing out there, uh, one example is in the retail business, uh, J.D. Williams over in EMEA, and uh, they're a retailer, and they take a look at, again, the shopping behavior and try to analyze what is happening on the web and are they doing anything different in any other channel. So for instance, it's just not what they purchase, but are they leaving abandoned shopping carts? And if they are, what are they doing as far as the analysis? They find out in a lot of retail environments that a lot of the abandoned shopping carts on the web are actually purchases in the store. So they like to determine, how do you determine whether abandoned cart was abandoned while I'm looking? while I'm entering in my personal information, maybe my credit card information and I stop? Is there a different uh, propensity to buy in the store based upon where I left my shopping cart? And that's the type of analysis that they do so that they can better promote through email, through additional web campaigns, or when you go into the store. So they're looking at, again, the overall picture of how their web advertising, the web behavior, is impacting the customer decision process and purchase behavior across all environments. Banking industry, so the banking industry, they may be looking for a home loan or uh, you know, a new checking account or a new uh, um, uh, car loan. Uh, what we wanna do while they're looking on the web is to take a look at the profile of the customer, the profitability, whether they have uh, other um, loans and, and so forth with you, such that while they're interacting, I can integrate the data from the integrated data warehouse to make a better decision as to what I should offer them at that time. I may want to give them a better car loan rate because they're a high profitable customer rather than the generic rate that I throw up. So as the customer is on the website, you can actually determine should I put a different personalized offer and it may be a lower rate for the auto loans that they came in and inquired about based upon the profitability of the customer and that I may have another transaction with them. So this offers personalization with the customer as they're actually interacting with my business or the customer's environment online. What Teradata is bringing to the integrated web intelligence uh, environment in our offer, if you will, 
is really around five things. And the first thing being our partnerships with some of the leading web analytics providers out there like Omniture and Cormetrics and WebTrends and uh, SpeedTrap. So what we have done is we've worked with these partners and worked on adapters such that we can get the data from the web environment easily into the data warehouse. The second thing that we bring to the table is industry logical data models. Because once you get the data in, you have to model it so that it's relevant to the other data in the warehouse so you can ask the relevant questions and get the intelligence that customers are looking for. And the third thing that brings to the table is Teradata just doesn't bring technology. We bring business value with our industry consulting group. So by industry, we have industry consultants that consult with the customers on how to analyze the web data. And then the fourth thing is around scalability of all of the massive volumes of data that the web analytics bring. Teradata's always had a scalability strength in being able to handle the data volumes and the deep, rich data of analyzing the cross-functional data across all of your enterprise. And the last thing is the relatively new thing over the last year is that's Teradata's platform family. So now we have a platform family platform at an affordable price at any price point such that if you want to integrate it into your enterprise data warehouse, you can, or if your marketing department wants to do more web analytics, we have a platform that's cost effective for that environment as well. So we try to bring a breadth of value, not just technology, in addressing a business problem to give our customers a competitive advantage.